Hello, Nikki from motor for You. Today we have a Jaguar E-Pace. This is a Cor cool, finished in Narvik Black. This car comes with one owner from new. On this car, we have parked distance to the front. You can see the sensors just coming around the front bumper there. If we then come around to the side, we can see on this car that we get 17 inch alloy wheels and these are multi-spoke alloys. We then start to make our way around the rest of the car. As we come round to the back of the car, we can see just along this rear bumper that we have rear park distance. And if we then open up the boot, Once inside the car, you can see that we have electric windows all around with your window lock and child lock button just below. We also have electric mirrors. Just by the door handle here, we have the locking system. On this car, we have a multifunctional steering wheel. On the left-hand side, you have your menu and OK button, which correlates to the screen just there. We then have your volume and then changing of stations or tracks, and then the up and down button correlates to the screen just there. On the right-hand side, we have cruise control with a limiter, as we can see just there. We have automatic wipers and automatic lights on this car. If we then look to the centre console, we have an armrest just here, which we can pop open. And in here we have a two USB ports and a 12 volt socket just in there, as well as a storage cubby just underneath. We then have another storage cubby just down here where we also have a 12 volt socket. We also have your different driving mode selector just here, so you can select different driving modes by pushing this up and down. We then have dual climate control within this car, as we can see by the two different numbers there. We adjust the fan speed in the middle and the airflow we adjust by pressing this button here. And as you can see, it will then come up on the screen. If we look to the screen, you can see that this car comes with a reversing camera, which has guidelines, so it'll give you a rough idea as to where the car will go. And we also have a visual representation of the front and rear park distance there as well. If we then go back to the home page, we have the phone option, which is functional when you have a phone connected. You'll then be able to make and receive calls through the car. We then also have your media function. So here we have the different bands of DAB, FM and AM. We do also have Bluetooth audio, but this shows up when you have a phone connected via Bluetooth already. If we then move on to the next page, we then have your eco data. So this will give you a rating out of five on your driving and your energy impact on the car. We then have your voice control as well as Bluetooth and we also have your all surface information. So as you can see here, it has your power distribution as well as your low friction launch just there as well. If we then go back to the home page, we then have your settings just here so we can select your display theme as well as go to all settings and here we have your general and then your features so as you can see here we can then change the different parts as well as go under connectivity and as you can see you can connect your phone via bluetooth if we then have a look at the seats we have the driver's side seat just here we can then come around to the back we have three seats in the back. They have Isofix just running along the bottom there. We also have a 12 volt socket just down there for the rear passengers as well. If you have any questions or queries on this car, please contact us at motor for You. Alternatively, you can give us a call on 01580 879 666.